Hi everyone, this is Madhusudan Raj, this is 31st July 2012 and I'm here to discuss India's, you know, uh, very, getting very grim power situation, you know, what happened uh, on Monday and Tuesday is very concerning, I'm already talking about this thing in my past videos also that the power situation is becoming very grave in India and evidence of that was, you know, uh, uh, you, uh, out there in last week on Monday and Tuesday, what happened is on Monday the northern power grid uh, collapsed completely which left something like 300 million people in the northern states without power for so many hours and not only that, when they restored it after you know, uh, one day, uh, Tuesday, that, that is today, again the northern power grid and northeastern power grid failed completely in the noon time and because of that uh, half of the India was without power there was blackout in half of the India around 620 million people were without power and what is happening because of this is as I said the so-called emerging uh, economy is you know really you know uh, uh, showing up that it is not actually emerging so what happened, you know, why these things are happening? The power minister, Sushil Kumar, said they blame the new crisis on states taking more than their allotted share of electricity. Now, as I'm saying since long, long since, since very long, these problems are because this whole electricity production is in the hand of government. It's monopolized by the government. Although few private companies are now, you know, working in the major metropolitan cities, but even they are not completely private, you know, they are also working under government regulations and only a couple of industries are given licenses to work so basically those who have a lot of political club those companies are getting all these licenses but overall in majority of the areas you know still you know the power like you know power generation electricity generation work has been monopolized in the hands of government so that's why we are facing all these problems you know this year particularly very acute because monsoon rain has now stalled and you know, officials have declared drought which I'll discuss, you know, in a while, and because of that, what is happening is, you know, there's a lot of, you know, heat and you know, in hot and humid environment, people are consuming more power. Obviously, that's going to happen. The problem is not with the demand over here, as usually. You know, the problem is with the supply of electricity. Why? Because, as I said, it's the whole electricity production is in the hand of imbecile government, you know, corporations, local corporations, because it's. It's basically, so as I said, Susan Sinde is saying that, you know, states are taking more than their allotted share of electricity. So the problem here is not that the states are taking more, you know, their allotted share of electricity. The problem is why there is lack of supply of power, why there is lack of supply of water, why there is lack of supply of good roads, why there is lack of supply of good educational institution, why there is lack of supply of good hospitals. All these things are in lack of supply and poor quality because government has monopolized all these sectors. So on one side, now there are two problems here. You know, on one side, the government is fueling the demand of electricity by you know, art, you know, uh, artificially printing more money and creating this artificial growth. So when RBI prints a lot of money, that money goes into the hands of you know, many people and instead of just you know, using let's say one air conditioner, these people are going to use two air conditioners, three air conditioners, they're going to run you know, their televisions for a very long period of time and stuff like that. They're going to consume more and more electricity simply because they have more money in their hand which has been freshly printed by IBI. If they have to own their money and then buy air conditioner and then pay the bills, then obviously the demand will be contained you know, because they have to own that money. So on one side, RBI and the government through their monetary and fiscal policies, they are creating this artificial demand of electricity. And on the other side, because the electricity production is monopolized by the government, so production is also very low. So that's why you have this imbalance between the demand of electricity and supply of electricity. And that's why you have this power grids getting overloaded. You know, some states are drawing more electricity and that's why you have all these power failures. And don't forget that these all power grids are also 67, you know, 50, 60 years old and there is not much of you know, technological improvements into all them. They just keep on talking about reforms and replacing infrastructure. But that is not going to happen as long as government is monopolizing this whole power you know, uh, sector. So as I said, it's, it's about 
their lack of production that is what is creating problem if we have a free market you know there in the power sector there will be no problem of electricity because you know innovative you know individual private companies who are competing for more and more customers they will find out innovative ways to produce to generate more electricity and to distribute efficiently for example uh, nobody knows about this technology but it is very much possible that you know people can these companies can use thorium based reactors you know they're talking about uranium reactors reactors but thorium is much more efficient than you know uh, uranium uh, fuel you know for nuclear power reactors so maybe they will maybe who knows they will come up with some other kind of uh, technologies to produce generate electricity and you know supply to their maybe customers so those private companies who are driven by profit motive they will be producing electricity for whatever you know by using whatever means so we will not have this kind of you know blackout problems frequently not only it's just this two days blackout but every day power failure is there for one hour two hour you know you will have power staggering for one day for sure whole day there will be no power this all happens because government sector has a monopoly over power sector as i said you know you will never you will never hear this kind of problems coming from the private sector for example big bazaar nobody will say that big bazaar will never say that my customers are using or buying more products from me so that's why i'm in trouble i cannot supply and they will supply if there is more demand in fact private sector will you know tell their consumers to buy more not buy less like what the government is saying now government is saying that those states who are drawing more electricity they are going to punish them <laughs> no private company will ever think of doing such stupid thing anyways but this whole problem as i said is created by the government imbecile government they cannot manage they cannot produce electricity and they are ultimately blaming the consumers that oh you have to save electricity you have to save water why we have to save electricity why we have to save water because you guys cannot produce it, that's why you're blaming all of us. You stop, you know, you get out of this market and let the private producer produce all this thing and we don't have to save anything. You know, we don't have to consume all this thing according to our purchasing power which we have on in the market. So you stop printing money, you stop, you know, giving this phony purchasing power to people so that the demand will not rise before the supply is coming into market. And on the other side, remove the supply bottlenecks by, you know, dismantling this monopoly of you know government over the power sector if you can do this much then this electricity problem this blackouts will very rarely take place in a free market society right only some technical glitches can result into that all right all right so thank you very much for watching me and i'll be back you know you know you know, one or two days, you know, with the discussion of this, you know, newly drought situation in India and what the government agricultural minister is, you know, thinking about, you know, normalizing the situation. And I'm telling you one thing, they are not going to normalize anything through their policies. They are going to create more trouble for all of us. I'll also be back next week with analysis of, uh, you know, some of the things which Deputy um, the Governor of RBI, you know, said about, you know, gold. So stay tuned and thank you very much for watching.